Well, uh, before I let you go, there is one thing that uh, I got to talk about. Five people have been arrested for the murder of Pop Smoke. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever meet? Did you ever meet Pop Smoke? Nah, I never got to meet. But we talked on the phone a couple of times. I mentioned yeah. this before. We were actually supposed to do an interview two days before he got killed. Same kind of thing happened with G Money as well. Yeah. We, we had an interview scheduled with him, and then he got killed. Five guys have been arrested for his murder. Two of them are minors. And apparently, they didn't know him at all. Because everyone figured, oh, it's an inside job. It was one of his enemies. It was, it was uh, some bloods he was beefing with because he's a crip. Or, you know, it was had to do with that Rolls Royce that he stole. But it had nothing to do with any of that. From what the police are saying, and you, you take it with a grain of salt, of course, but from what the investigators are saying is that he went on live, on IG Live, and flashed his address, and there was a group of jack boys in LA. In the area. In the area that went there and got him. These same guys are also uh, being charged for another murder that happened in LA at the Rose Bowl. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were some little hitter. Yeah. Oh, damn. These, these dudes mobbed up, went to his house, tried to rob him, and ended up killing him. Bunch of guys he didn't even know. Didn't he shoot one of them? That's what PMB Rock said, but I've, I've never heard anything like that. All the early reports probably would have. I mean, he didn't, yeah. kill, he didn't kill one of them. Right, right. I'll, I'll put it that, because they would report on two dead bodies, right? Right. I don't know if he shot one of them. Maybe he did shoot. I, I don't know. The story's going to start coming out slowly. But, uh, man, it's just it just shows the danger of, of stunting on social media. Yeah. Where people know where you are. You got all this jewelry on. You're not at your house. You're at right. some Airbnb. Right. You know? Right. And I don't think they're going to be trying to roll up to, to Boosie's crib in Atlanta. Nah, that's why I be lying. <laughs> <laughs> you coming this month? I'm pretty sure there's a there's a nice little army yeah, up in that yeah. <laughs> up in there. Yeah, we got we got we I'm got not, my people at the I'm gate. I'm not for too you worried to about out. that. But like, if you notice, it's dangerous. Bro. It's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, bro. That's why you gotta protect yourself, especially in Cali. I was saying that Cali is so yeah. dangerous, bro. This shit got me want to go put get more guns on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cali dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Man. Cali dangerous. Five, five people. Two of them were minors. That means that they were 17 or younger. Oh, that ain't nothing, man. That ain't nothing. I see you like you, 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 uh, you're not used to killers being 17. <laughs> I mean, that's the age, that Vlad. No, you I all mean, the way, you, you, you progressed at 17. No, I mean, listen, man. One, one of my best friends, he killed someone with his bare hands at 17. I, I know people like this, but I'm just saying. That that was a different situation. That was a fight that broke out that just kept kept going. Right. I I don't know too many people that are gonna go assassinate someone at seventeen. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you know guys like this growing up. Yeah. Shit, my co defendant killed nine people. Fuck. He got convicted and, of that. And 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 admitted to it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he was fifteen. No. Okay, wait, wait. So the murder charges that you beat, yeah, you had a co-defendant, yeah, and he was found guilty. You were found innocent, yeah, over the same case, yeah. Did he take the stand at all? He took the he took the stand on me, Against, for me though, for for your on your behalf. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and and, and he, he he got me indicted, but. He, when what do you, time what, for what, court, what, what do you mean? The, what do you mean he got you indicted? Explain. He got me indicted. He said you did it. Yeah. And then he changed his mind. Yeah. When it when it was time for trial, he got on the stand and and told the truth. When when he told on you initially, what did you think? This was your close friend. Yeah, this was my son. This was my. I was his guardian on his at his fucking at school. Wow. I signed for him. How old was he at the time of the trial? At the time of the trial, he was like six, I maybe mean about 17, 18. He was still a minor during that trial? Yeah, because oh. years had not went by. When he got arrested, he was 15. Oh, so he was just a young shooter. 
nine people. He admitted to that? Yeah. Wow. That's why he in jail. They never had not one witness on him, on none of those murders. Because he killed everyone at the scene, pretty much? No, he just never had a witness. Huh. Nobody was like, they never had a witness on now one of his murders. Not one of them, not one witness. Okay, so you're you're going through this, was, was it a double murder that you were on uh, on this no, this trial for? No, this uh this is single murder. Okay, you, you were on you were on, on trial for a single murder. Yeah. And he was your co-defendant. Yeah. For that same single murder. Yeah. But he had eight other murders yeah. thrown in? Yeah. At, and for, three attempts. For different for different cases. Yeah. And he took the stand and said, Boosie didn't do anything. Yeah, we rap. If he had take taken the stand and said, Boosie did everything I did, then you would be in prison right now. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. I I don't I don't think the jury would have took him. It was it was just all everywhere, you know. It was it wasn't a strong case at all. Uh, you know, he really he just did what he did because he had gotten a situation on another body with my with my with our best friend. And he was just trying to get me off the streets. So I would never come back because he knew if I would have came back after what happened with my best friend. Mm. So uh, he so, got up then. So know. did he get convicted of the murder that you got off for? Yeah. Plus eight other ones. No, they they uh they uh they uh they ain't take him to trial for all the other eight because he got a life sentence and he couldn't get the death penalty because he was a minor. A minor. So they he just got life on. Oh, okay. So they're like, okay, just admit. To all these other eight, and it's not going to matter since you're still doing life, and we'll just wrap up this whole case. Yeah. Nine people. So, so this guy, this guy's a serial killer, pretty much. Would you consider him that? I don't know if he killed nobody. Oh, but he admitted to it. I don't know. Just is what it is. Just is what it is. Do you still talk to him? No, nah, I don't be talking to him. Did you feel better when he took the stand on your behalf? Uh, of course. <laughs> I knew he was going to take the stand uh, probably two months after I got in jail. I knew okay. he was, he was going to testify for me. He had already wrote me letters and shit saying, you know, why he did it. He was fucked up. He's sorry. Hmm. He would never catch the stand on me, you know. I already knew I was coming home whenever I went to trial. Three months into my sentence, you know, he sent me letters and apologized for it and told me why he did it. And, um, you know, so I knew what was going on, what he was going to do on the stand from day one. It's just the prosecutors did it. Well, now it's a crazy story. I feel like your stories get crazier every time. <laughs>